an ever-increasing number of countries have passed legislation legalizing marijuana for medical uses, and some countries have legalized the herb's recreational use. But every country has proprietary laws, which they use to determine who may and may not cultivate, sell, um, and export marijuana, and under what, what conditions they can do so. Well, I'm in Colombia, and in Colombia, the legislation has been passed to grow um, manufacture derivatives and export both THC and CBD products um, coming from the cannabis plant. But to license these, there are several different licenses and several different levels of licensing that have to be discussed. And that's what I'm going to do today with you. I'm going to talk about all of these different licenses, what type of licenses there are in Colombia, and the approximate, approximate cost of licenses. What you have to do is first you have to form a company in Colombia. Uh, company formation costs between $1,200 and $1,400. Uh, license applications. Now, that's a big issue. Uh, if you hire a company like, uh, well, I any of the legal firms down here in Colombia, you're going to pay about $40,000 uh, for your basic growing license plus the government fees. And there are different levels of licensing. Um, that $40,000 doesn't include all levels of licensing. Let me give you an example of the different uh, licenses. Cannabis licenses in Colombia uh, are in several categories. You have the psychoactive cannabis and the non-psychoactive cannabis. In other words, the ones that have more than 1% uh, THC and ones that have less than 1% THC. That's the difference between your THC and CBD production or your uh, marijuana and hemp production. Licenses, cannabis derivatives for national use, for scientific research, or for export. Those are three different licenses. Uh, cultivation of psychoactive cannabis for seed production or sowing, for grain production, to manufacture derivatives for scientific purposes, for storage, for final disposal, and for transportation the non-psychoactive cannabis licenses. Now these are all different licenses, each of these items that I'm reading to you. For production of grain and seed for planting, uh, to manufacture derivatives, for industrial purposes, for scientific purposes, for storage, and for final disp disposition. Then, then again, there's also for transporting. Another one is just to grow seeds for commercialization. <coughs> the seed issue, here's, here's the catch. Anything that you grow in the cannabis industry in Colombia has to come from registered seeds. There are very few co companies that are growing registered seeds down here right now. Why? Because to grow registered seeds, you need to mix. You need to have both the male and female plant to produce the high quality uh, number of seeds that's needed for commercialization. If you're growing seeds, if you're mixing mixing the male and female plants then you're degrading the amount of THC in the plant. So many of the companies down here that are uh, heavy into THC, uh, the, the production and derivatives don't want to have the seed operation on their, on their farm. I propose a seed operation. And not only a seed operation, but uh, making derivatives. These seeds, these derivatives, would be for use nationally and for exportation around the world. Colombia is very aggressive in allowing exportation and trying to become the center for medical marijuana, medical cannabis. Um, we can produce a high grade CBD product down here. We can produce a high grade THC product and we can produce these seeds that are of high value to the growers. The uh, income from this is enormous, just from the seeds, without the exportation. However, the United States has just approved CBD, and that's not been done before. They moved it from an off of the Schedule 1 list to a Schedule 4 list, which has authorized uh, medical use. So with that market open, uh, the production of CBD, high-grade, pharmaceutical-grade, 
and the production of seeds for these uh, operations in the States and down here and around the world will be very lucrative. This is going to require an investment. You heard me talk about the 40000 for the basic, basic license using attorneys down here. Well, it's going to cost in, in total to get the first crop out of the ground about $150,000. What I propose to do is to bring together five to 15 partners, each of us putting in ten to $30,000 each. Uh, the way this works is we form the company, and I have a company in, in process right now called Cannabis of Columbia. We form this company. Um, we share all the profits. It's not like uh, buying stock in a company. However, stock will be issued uh, accordingly to the investment that each of us puts in. This is a, a pure partnership in a corporation formed in Colombia. Uh, we would, for instance, we would probably want to hold back 25% of the earnings of the company for future growth and split the rest. Um, this is something that uh, is in the process. I am looking for partners, but I'm going to be very selective in my partners because uh, to make this thing work, we have to be on the same sheet of music. Uh, it's a very difficult place down here in Colombia. Um, you have to be strong, you have to be resistant and resilient, uh, and understand that in foreign countries, things never happen on a, on a calendar s of schedules. They're mostly delayed. We're in a good spot because the government has already pre-approved the seed product for us. So that's what I'm going to be looking for. For those of you who want to contact me, you feel free. You can contact me at you can contact me at chip at chiptatum.com, um, and we can go forward from there. Thanks. Have a good day.